Here's a quick update on Affinity Photo version 2.62. I was using version 2.6 when the message popped up and if you go to the Affinity forum we get a list of the changes. As expected, with a minor release the changes are all bug fixes. But still, let's go through a couple of them. I put together a list of items which I noticed in Affinity Photo. I haven't updated yet so I can demonstrate the issue and then we'll go through them once more after the update and see if they are fixed. So the first bug that has been fixed is when you are using column guidelines inside of an artboard. For those who are not familiar, you can enable column guides by using the guides option from the view menu. On the guides dialog you can enable column guides. This is a pretty cool feature to have and I do use it from time to time. When we duplicate the artboard, notice how the column guides are no longer visible in the duplicate. When I switch back to the original artboard, they do show up. So clearly there is a glitch here. The next one is designer only. As I have already updated designer, I will not be able to show you the issue. So let's move to the next item which you might not have even noticed. So when I have multiple pixel layers selected and the group selected at the bottom, the merge selected option in the layers panel is available. However, it just fails. By the way, the merge select option is only enabled if you have pixel layers selected. So actually, this should not have been enabled in the first place. Now the next one is actually something that doesn't really have a big impact, but having this fixed makes a lot of sense. When we have a layer which is being cropped by a vector object and we select the layer itself and use the move tool to move it around, notice how the bounds of the uncropped layer itself is still shown, which is a bit odd. Another item that might have been frustrating if you're using artboards and measurements is that the measurements feature while holding the command or control key is not working with artboards. So in this document there are two circles in an artboard and as you can see, I'm not able to get measurement information. If we copy the two circles into a new document without an artboard, notice now I am able to get the measurement details while holding the control or the command key. The final issue I want to highlight is the search in the brushes panel. While the search is active, removing or duplicating a brush acts a bit strange. Notice that I have two brushes called Custom 1 and Custom 1 2. When I search for Custom and remove the second one, notice how it is still in the list. But when I clear the list, it disappears as it has been removed. So now that we have seen some of these bugs in version 2.60, let me update my Affinity Photo and then quickly go through them again to see if they are indeed fixed. I'm pretty sure they are. So the first one was with the column guides. I'll duplicate the artboard and like magic the column guides are now also available in the duplicate. Nice. For the merge selected issue with groups it has been fixed by disabling the merge selected menu item when a group is selected. I would have preferred that it would merge but at least you now know that the selected layers cannot be merged. The issue with the move tool and a vector crop layer seems also to have been solved. When I select the crop layer, we can only see the bounds of the crop, no longer the original layer bounds. Excellent. For the measurement info in an artboard, this also seems to work nicely. The measurement details do show up while pressing the control or the command key. The final issue with the brush search. This seems to be fixed by clearing the search box after a brush from the search results is removed or duplicated. That is one way of fixing it. Also here I expected that the search would stay in place and the list would be updated correctly. A bit of a lazy fix but who am I to judge? Hope you liked this quick walkthrough of the bug fixes in version 2.62 and thanks again for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave and I'll see you in the next video.